Let me go and do the weather. Beautiful weather. We got some entertainment in here. We're going to have all that going on in just a moment. Mr. Greg Waters in here. He's the general manager, new general manager at IHOP, right down the road here, opening up in about 25 minutes from right now, right, Greg? Yes, sir. Y'all might remember Greg from another famous place he was at for many, many years. Y'all, he took. How do we start getting people to start coming to IHOP after church instead of going to one of the other chain stores? Well, you know, we're going to continue to do what we're doing, okay? And what we're doing is we're just making sure that we're doing the IHOP concept the very best we can. And we'll get people to come in. People are already coming back to check us. And once they come in and see what we offer and the level of service we give, I'm feeling comfortable they're going to work us into the rotation. Is it hard, Greg, to get, once people come in a, a restaurant and they have a bad experience, is it hard to get the word out that it ain't that way no more? Absolutely. You know, and this is a credo in the restaurant industry for years on back. If you get one person ticked off, they'll go out and tell everybody they know it was horrible. If you do a great job with one person, they might go and tell their closest friend. Yeah. So it's, it's really difficult once you have a string of bad experiences to get people turned around. That's what we're working against right now. Now, you guys can see how many over there? 114. 114 at IHOP. What are the hours over there? And children eat free three days a week. Children eat free Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays after 2 o'clock. And our hours are 7 to 10, Sunday through Thursday, and then we stay up until midnight on Fridays and Saturdays. All right. I hop right down the road, and what have we got out here today? Well, these are a couple of our dinner offerings. Uh, this is a, an old favorite here in the Alabama area, country fried steak. It comes with mashed potatoes and broccoli, and that's some garlic toast with it. And this right here is our Baja fish sandwich. It's one of our new offerings. It comes with tomato and lettuce and honey vinaigrette. Serve with fries and a pickle spare. So it's not just breakfast at IHOP. That's right. We can come in, you can, and we'll serve these products all day long. We'll serve our breakfast all day long. We'll so serve you can get day. anything all day long. Right? Absolutely. All right, what else do we need to know about IHOP? Because you've got to take your church people over there. I know some people that are on the show go over there on a regular basis when the show's over, so open at 7. So how do we start getting more people from the churches to come over there? Well, you know, I know a few of the pastors in town, and so we're, we're working with them just a little bit. Uh, mostly I try to get them in and make, let them see what we have to offer. And once I get them in and get them impressed, then they can go from the pulpit and see what they can do. Yeah, when they go other places, they're going to have to wait possibly to get in when they could be at IHOP, get seated and get out and while you're still waiting. Other All right, Greg, thank you. Appreciate it. IHOP, y'all go by and visit and open at 7 o'clock this morning. Kids eat free Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Don't ever give me a hand signal. <laughs> at least not that. <laughs> Unless it's that one finger salute that I usually get when I'm driving down the road. Alright, here right now is Lucas to tell us all about, I guess we're going to talk about the domestic violence this morning. We probably should. I mean, that seems to be definitely in the news. As far as the weather, don't have to worry about any rain, about 64 degrees. But anyway, Lucas, it gets kind of hot in the courtroom, I'm sure, quite a bit. It gets a little bit warm. <laughs> it does. What is the one thing, I mean, I know in this day and time where the younger people think it's okay to have a little bit, is it just the mentality of it's okay to hit a woman? The disturbing thing about domestic violence that you need to remember is that um, it doesn't take a physical contact. There's mm -hmm. multiple ways to um, actually commit the offense. What makes it domestic is, uh, for instance, you have a harassment. You know, somebody, uh, you, you and Jamie have been real close to harassing each other this morning in a, in a <laughs> playful manner, of course. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if you, if you harass somebody and with the intent just to, verbally, yeah, and with the intent to uh, put them in fear or something like that, that, that would be an harassment. What makes it domestic is a certain relationship: um, wife, spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, um, even stepbrother, step, you know, siblings, parents, mm -hmm. household members, and all of that. And, um, I think the law is is protective about that because of the. The seclusion of the relationship being inside mm -hmm. of the house, it's not a public situation. You can't always see what they're right, doing. Right, right. And there's, you don't have that general public to sort of keep you in check, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Why is domestic violence so much on the rise now? Elizabeth? It's just, I think it's one of those fads, and uh, I'm not, you know, not trying to be a, a know-it-all, but I've been, I, I've been seeing this for, uh, we've been seeing it in the, on the defense side for several months now with the changes in the law, and then long before the Ray Rice uh, incident and the video and all that hit. Do people really know what the procedure is if, I mean, if, first of all, get your anger under control, but mm -hmm. when that happens and police come out to your home, the other person does not have to say, I want to press charges, it's the police officer that could do it. We, we, see, we see some situations where the uh, police officer show up and obviously somebody's, you know, bloody nose, black eye laying in the mm -hmm. floor and, uh, and, no, I don't want to press charges and the cop's going to make a judgment call at that point and a right one. 
Uh, generally speaking, I think the, the police uh, law enforcement's policy is when they would respond to a domestic disturbance, somebody is going to be but taken into They custody. could make a lot more arrests, too, on domestic violence than they do, couldn't they? I, I'm sorry. They could make a lot more arrests than they oh, do yeah, on domestic definitely. violence. They, they, do, make, they so. do make a lot of cases, but I think there's a lot of them where the officer discretion is that maybe they're going to work it out because we see so many where cases are made, people are arrested, and then they come to court and they've resolved their differences and they go back home. Well, let me tell you what happened at our house Saturday night, talking about almost coming to blows. It was <laughs> bad. It was like the ultimate sin. This is like the biggest deal. Bama's on TV. We're up about 30. I'm watching, sitting in there in my den. All of a sudden, it comes up on the TV screen. 15 seconds does the countdown. We're going to start recording these two shows, Property Brothers and some other real estate program. <laughs> and it started going down. 15, 14, he goes 10. I said, hey, wait a minute. I'm trying to get the remote. I can't stop it. Sure enough, black, that comes on. I said, after I made her go outside and stay the rest of the night, said, how do you go fix this? She's in there working her finally gets... That's the ultimate sin, to go to black during a Bama football game. Two buttons on a remote control. Ten, nine. Hand. Hey, I'm going there like, this ain't about to happen to me. <laughs> We're already up, what, 30 points? Don't matter. It's the game. <laughs> Don't matter. The good mayor has arrived in here this morning. 30 seconds morning, later. All right, Lucas, what else we need to know about uh, you and uh, Dan Totten Law Firm? Come talk to us. Um, if you find yourself yeah, in that you situation, yourself in that situation um, uh, it's best if calmer head uh, prevail, <laughs> but that I, I, you know, obviously you're not going to be talking to us if it does. But there are certain rights and procedures, and right now with domestic violence, um, Alabama has uh, changed the law recently, where even the misdemeanor version could be considered a felony if you've had a past. Um, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of things you need to know the ramifications of if you're faced with one of those charges. And it's very important. I mean, start, work on your anger issues if yeah. that's the case. You talk. You. Been there. <laughs> All right, Lucas Page down to the law either. firm of Dan C. Totten. Go by there and give them a call. You want somebody, you know, you've been busted. Get somebody you can be trusted with. Lucas Page, I guess you got a full day today. <laughs> we do. All right, as always. Yeah, I don't have no idea when it's going to end either. Yeah. So. Y'all ready? Making their first appearance they on the world's most popular program in Athens, Alabama, all the way from Talladega, playing in Fort Payne this, later this week. We're going to talk with Darren in just a moment, too, about it. Here they are right now. Y'all are on.